This video is sponsored by Factory Managed Solutions. We provide DCS service for any size group, squadron, or air wing. You can find the link to their website in the description below. All footage in this video is recorded on a Fox3 server. Hello everybody, Hoist here from Insuit. Welcome to another video. And today we're going to do a little, little short tutorial on PVR air-to-air -air combat in the F-18 Hornet. Now this is not going to be too in-depth, this is just basically going to be to get you out there killing stuff. Okay? So for... You know, just to get started, let's turn on the auto the autopilot to parametric hold altitude. There we go. Now he's going to hold this altitude and, you know, keep us from crashing so we can do other stuff. Now, you have we have AWACS. He's, it's somewhere over there. So basically, we're going to turn on our data link. And now you're going to get some basic information from your AWACS, such as, there it is. That's your AWACS, and that yellow is your target, right there. All right, so first we're going to do the range while scan method, all right? The mode, that's what we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where our target is, and we're going to go straight at our target for now. Now the key binds you're going to need are, you're going to need a, your normal, you know, whatever you need to fly the plane, then you're going to need the... TDC slew and TDC deep press, and you're gonna need weapon fire, and that's pretty much it. All right, so the TDC slew, it's basically an axis that which is doing this. TDC deep press is your well, target lock. All right, so we get it over the target. See, it's just in the range while scan. It's just a little dot you see on the radar, but when you get the thing over it, it gets gives you some information. So. Basically, he's at 30,000 feet, he's 41 miles away. Sorry, not 40 miles away. You're scanning between 41,000 and 19,000 to 20,000 feet. So, that's he's at Angels 30 at Mach 0 0.7. All right, so we get, we get the lock, and there he's right there. And he's already showing you that he is hostile because he's a diamond. All right, there you go. Now... Well, we're in range while scan. You can only have one target locked at any given time. All right? So, but it's also, you know, it holds that lock more firmly. It's what's called a hard lock. So now he's got a notification that he's locked right away. So these two lines right down there, that's showing the range of your missile, the maximum range and the no escape zone. So basically the faster you go, the longer that range is, the higher your velocity. Also, if the if your target's moving toward you, the, if the bandit's hot, then it's going to be a longer range. If he's cold, that range is going to be a lot shorter. All right, so he's almost in our range. He's crossing 40 miles. Let's see. Yep, yep, crossing 40 miles. You can see him right down there on the data link on your situational awareness page. It's good to always have that open. Alright, it's a good thing to turn this on as well, to countermeasures. Alright, now he is almost in range. Almost, see? And we're going to launch from maximum range. Just to, you know, just to see if we can shoot him down as quickly as possible. Now he's moving toward us, so... Now... There we go, he's in range. Right, so now we're gonna choose our AMRAMs. There we go, we're gonna turn on our master arm. And Fox 3 is giving you the shoot cue. Right, you see him right there. You see a little icon of your missile going that way. Let's give him one more. Fox 3. And he's going to go down pretty quick. Now, he's not defending, he's not maneuvering. Is it, this is just, you know, to show you how the radar and how the weapons work. All right, he's about to go down pretty fast. Come on. There we go. It's a splash. Both are hits. And even though he's going down, you still you're still keeping a lock on him. See? 
but he is most definitely going down. All right, that was the range while scan. You can only have one target, and you know your target gets a notification immediately. All right, let's do the truck while scan m mode, which is a little bit more useful. Alrighty, now we're going to do the track while scan mode, which is a lot more useful, because your your bandit doesn't know they're being locked. Okay, it's so what's called... I think it's called a soft lock, but okay. So, we're going to select our AMRAMs. There we go. And we're going to click this button right down here. This one right here. And change the track while scan. Now, some things have changed. Okay, so I'm going to punch that out to 160. And you see that you're getting some information from your data link. Well, they just dropped off data link, but we have four targets. So what we're going to do, we're going to ping all of them. As soon as we're in range, we're going to lock all of them, and then we're going to launch on all of them at the same time. Now, the only key bind you're going to need for this that we didn't cover in the last part is you're going to need your nose wheel steering button, which is also the button to switch to, to the next target. Okay. Alright, let's wait for them to come up again. There we go. 29,000 feet. They are at 29,000, Mach 0.6. Alright, so basically these two little vertical lines, that's your um, cursor. That's what you're going to use to lock. And these numbers show that they're scanning vertical between 53,000 feet and 6,000 feet. Okay? Alright, let's move a little bit to this side and let's see when we can get a track on them. They're still too far, they're still almost 100 miles out. Our AWACS is somewhere in this direction. But he's feeding us information on these, on our bandits. Alright, so it's, let's reduce to 80 miles, they just broke 80 miles. So we'll be getting a little track on them pretty soon. Pretty soon. Alright, let's reduce that to 80. Yeah, still nothing. Still can't get a track on them. Still too far away. Now, that they're also not going to be maneuvering, not going to be defending, not going to be firing at us, just to show you how this works. So we can get in a plane, start shooting down bandits as quickly as possible. Right? Make sure autopilot is on. It is. Because I just don't want to bother with flying the plane at the same time as explaining this to you guys. Now we're at 29,400 feet. Let's actually gain a little bit more altitude. up to 35 because if you have an uh, if you have an altitude advantage over your bandit it's always it's always a good thing and the faster you are the better so we're gently climbing all right all right let's get a track on these guys come on now only two of them are on data link Sometimes this information drops on and off. See, now they're now they've come closer. You're scanning between twenty-one thousand and forty-eight thousand feet. That's what your radar can see. If they're below and above that, you won't be able to see them. All right there, we go. We've got a track. There we go. We got tracks now. And let's let's level out. We'll be able to lock them soon. Still a bit far away. Because the Hornet's radar is not the most powerful thing in the world. There we go. You got a lock and showing you that it's abandoned. Alright? And it is they're almost in range. So what we're gonna do now 
is we're gonna dive a little bit toward them just a little bit so we keep them within the circle and now it's showing you that you're so you're getting the shoot cue all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch box three nose wheel steering next target box three nose wheel steering next target box three box three Box 3. Sometimes it doesn't go in order. Sometimes it'll, it will choose the same one twice, which is what it did now. But that's okay. I'm going to turn on our autopilot again, and we're going to watch them get hit. Yeah, so let's watch what happens now. There we go. That's 1. That's 2. That's 2 again. That's 3. And that's 4. All 4 are down. We got 4 splashes with 4 AMRAMs. Well, five technically, but you know what I mean. All right, so the good thing about track while scan is that your target doesn't get a notification that they're locked, and the only time they notice they get a notification that they've been launched on is once the missile goes pitbull. So that reduces the time they have to defend the missile. All right, well, hope you all found this helpful, interesting. If you have, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again in a future video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.